We're here on the show floor at the 2013 SEMA show with Jay from Comp Cams. Once again, Comp Cams leading the industry in valve train technology with these guys right here. Conical valve springs, Jay. We've seen you guys evolve from the standard kind of straight spring. We've gone yeah. to the beehives, and here we are with the cones. So talk yeah. to me about why the cone is beneficial and what you guys are doing with these. Well, the conical design is actually something that we've been working on for quite some time. Um, it is really good at reducing harmonics. It allows us to cover a lot of applications where we used to see, like in a solid roller application, as much as say 240, 250 pounds of seat pressure. Brutal. Now we can actually get away with like 160 pounds of seat pressure, frees up a lot of horsepower in the motor, uh, the harmonics are much better, um, and actually the cone shape here, um, if you study the way a valve spring moves, when the rocker arm comes down and it begins to push the valve sure. open, you actually get a lot more work in the first two or three rounds of the spring than you do the whole spring. Okay. So, this allows us to run a much smaller, uh, like tool steel type retainer. Okay. So we reduce weight there, we get better harmonics. We cover a lot of applications where it used to take 10 or 12 different part numbers of springs. Now, whether you're running a flat tappet spring or a flat tappet camshaft, hydraulic roller, even a solid roller, now we've got like one of three different part numbers to cover a wide range of applications. And you know, weight is always a concern of the valve train. Obviously, as we're making this cone shape as we taper the spring down, we're actually saving weight in the spring itself. Absolutely, yeah, all the way around. So it's a win-win combination. Excellent. Now you mentioned uh, this is not just a race-only application. We're talking stuff as far and wide as street strip cars. Oh you know, yeah. yeah, we've got guys running, you know, 500 lift, flat tap at camshafts on the street that are benefiting from this technology now. So. Very cool. Where does this process start at Comp Cams? I mean, does it, you know, <laughs> when you guys are getting into the process of designing a product like this, does it come from the customers up? Does it come from the engineers down? Or does it meet somewhere in the middle? Well, it's a little bit of both. We probably do as good a job as anybody at really listening to the needs of our consumers and customers. And it doesn't matter what we did yesterday, tomorrow we're wanting to do something better or different. Um, you know, whether it's more horsepower, more sure. RPM, whatever. And we always need to do a better job of controlling the valve. This is really the next step in doing that. Um, Again, with reduced weight at the valve train package, yeah. it allows us to make more RPM. It's a much more stable package. We're doing it with a lighter mass. So the valve spring not only does a better job, but it lasts longer as well. So to get back to the question, we really have to listen to what you know, our end users need, and then we have to go to work at developing what they want. Well, you mentioned tomorrow, and tomorrow's kind of <laughs> sitting behind your shoulder it here. It is, yep. So this is a camshaft for the brand new fifth gen small block, the LT1 family of engines, which basically started rolling out of the back of factories like weeks ago. Yep, exactly. They're in Corvettes and trucks now, and you guys already have camshaft applications for these yep, engines. We do. We we've worked really, you know, close hand in hand with GM at developing this technology. The VVT stuff, variable valve timing and active fuel management stuff, it's here to stay. And it really does a really good job at making the cars efficient and also making really good power. You know, years ago in the muscle car days of the mid 60s and late 60s, we had to really give up something, a lot of low end torque to make that high RPM horsepower. Now you don't have to do that because like GM has the ability to ramp these camshafts forward and back over a 62 degree span. We actually have taken that window and reduced it to a 22 degree span and actually made more low end torque and more horsepower while still maintaining all the drivability that the factory engineered into the thing. That's unbelievable. And uh, you know, we talked a little bit before and you said you know the process in these camshafts started almost a year ago to get kind of an, yeah. an end product you can get out the door and and uh, it is amazing. And you know, when we think about you know stuff like conical valve springs for stuff like cams for engines that are just rolling out the door, yeah. you know, that's what Comcans has been known for, is really being on kind of the bleeding edge of all this stuff. Well, I don't know about the bleeding edge, but we're definitely on the cutting <laughs> edge, or we try to be. But yeah. So, you know, the customers demand it, we're here to answer that need and uh, we keep driving forward. So Dudes and dudettes at home, you got your new pickup truck, and yeah, it moves along pretty good. Slide one of these puppies in there, you wake it right up. So, <laughs> Jay, thanks a lot for your time today. No Again, problem Comp at all. Camp's knocking it out of the park at SEMA 2013. Thanks, Brian. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir.